this. I love you so much. Yeah, I love you too. I always have. And, uh, that's why I have to do this. I don't want to have to hurt Fancy, but... That's why I've made the decision that I've made. No. Well, don't worry, Luis. I made a decision, too. Fancy? Don't you ever knock! After you left me hanging at the mansion to come here with Aunt Sheridan, I decided that we can't go on like this anymore. Enough is enough, Luis. And I said it before, but I so mean it this time. I'm done with you. We're finished. Wait, wait, wait. Fancy, wait. Why? So we can play the same scene over and over again for the umpteenth time? Oh, Fancy, you can't leave me. I love you. Oh, but you just told Sheridan you love her, Louise. Oh, it's not what you think. Trust me. Trust in our love. Did I leave anything out? No. Would you, would you just stop for one second, okay? There are things going on, okay? Stuff is going on. It involves me and Sheridan that you don't know yeah, about. Yeah, the last time I walked in here, you and Sheridan were involved on the floor in front of the fireplace. And before that, you were involved at the Bedbug Hotel. I can't go through with this anymore, Luis. I won't. I am removing myself from this warped little triangle. No, well, I am not going to lose you, okay? Not like this. You've already lost me, Luis. No, Fancy, please, please, would you wait? Would you just listen to me, please? I love you. Really, Luis? Get some new material. This tripe you're spouting wouldn't pass muster on a daytime no, soap. Please, would you... Just trust me, okay? I'm telling you... Fancy, come on, life is too short. I'm telling you, this is all just one... It's one big misunderstanding. Oh, well, I didn't misunderstand catching you in lie after lie with Sheridan and seeing you two going at it. What I don't understand is why you didn't have the decency to tell me you want to be with her. Why did you I... keep stringing me along? Either you're just mean and hateful, or you're a lying coward. So which one is it, Luis? What kind of man are you? No, don't you dare talk about Luis that way. Because Luis is kind and loving, and he is the bravest man you will ever know. Huh. Yeah, I guess he must be pretty brave to keep going back to a man-eater like you. Oh, Fancy, please. Oh, what? On, you please. cheated on me with Sheridan. You, know, you don't deserve Luis. You... you know what? You're right. I deserve better. I am sick of walking in on a man who keeps claiming to love me while he's plotting to leave me for his ex. Oh, please. No, you please, know what? Fancy, please. this isn't about you. This isn't about me. Luis is about to make a great sacrifice. The greatest sacrifice a person could make for someone else. What sacrifice? What is she talking about? Uh, I think I'll use fancy to counter any happy spell that Kay might come up with for Noah and Paloma. Now, download file photo on fancy. Next time Noah and Fancy meet, my magic will kick in. And their eyes will meet, their lips will touch, and nothing will ever be the same again. I'm sure I'll regret this, but I'll bite. What are you talking about, Sheridan? What sacrifice is Louise making? Why should I answer you, Fancy? You never believe anything I say anyway. Luis? Let me guess. I should just trust you. Trust in our love. Please. No, Luis, I am not wasting any more time with you Fancy, two. do you really believe that I don't love you? Well, it's, it's hard not to believe it when I hear you tell Sheridan you love her and that you don't want to hurt me. Okay, no, hold on a second. You are taking what I said completely the wrong way, Fancy. No, Luis, I'm... you couldn't be clearer. And you too, Sheridan. Neither of you ever let go of the other. The problem was, I was stupid enough to believe you had. I mean, I, I really thought you loved me, Luis. 
I do. I really thought we had a chance together. We do. No, if we ever, if we ever did, we don't anymore. No, no, we, Fancy, please, would you wait? Fancy, would you just wait, please? Yes, come on, just let her go. I mean, what are you going to tell her, huh? That Marty's alive, and the only way to get him back is to give up your life? You can't tell Fancy anything. Damn it, I hate this. Let me get out of here. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Somewhere I can think. Look, I love our son, and I want him back, but I can't lose you. Yeah, we well, can't have it both ways, Sheridan. Fancy? Hey, you okay? Their eyes will meet, their lips will touch, and nothing will ever be the same again. No, no, no I'm not okay. Oh, uh, what's wrong? No, I've been such a fool. Luis doesn't love me, if he ever did. Fancy, come on, of course Luis loved you. I bet he does still. No, Luis and I are finished. You can't say that based on one little Please fight. Please don't try to sugarcoat things to make me feel better, okay? Luis and I are over. Wow. I'm sorry, Fancy. You know, I was, I was really happy that Luis could have you, even if I couldn't. You know, it ripped my heart right out of my body when we broke up in Rome. Maya. Well, it was more that you didn't trust me enough to be honest with me about why you were with her. Fancy, I was just trying to protect you. You know, I, I didn't know that Alistair was using Maya to try to break us up. And when I figured it out, it was, it was too late. You'd already moved on to Luis. Not at first. In the beginning, I was drawn to Luis over the situation with Marty. The truth is, I never stopped loving you, Noah. I never stopped loving you either.